channel, Wheels on Wheels. I'm 60 years old and I decided that I didn't want to keep putting life on hold. I'd like to be able to wake up by a different lake every morning. So I bought this Dodge Grand Caravan. I was having trouble outfitting the van, trying to figure out how to make it work for me as a person camping who also uses a wheelchair. So th that's the reason I'm starting this channel. Anyways, this first video is just going to be about my van, so let's have a look inside. Okay, let's start with the interior as a shell without any adaptations in it except for the two um, cushioned, they're actually bath mats, but they're very padded and they're a nice cushion for me to transfer onto, not too hard on my butt. You might also be able to see the lift that carries my, van, my uh, wheelchair into the van. I'll have a whole video on that later. But anyways, this is a shell. Um, the, actually, the other adaptation that I've made is I've taken out the 40% part of the 60-40 bench seat that folds into the floor. So there's a hole down there. I've got blankets in it right now. So since we've already uh, looked at the hole in the floor, why don't I tell you what the reasoning was to have that hole in the floor? It's the topic that everybody always wants to know about when you're living or camping in your van is how do you use the washroom? So I removed that seat so that I could lower my toilet into there and let me show you the toilet. Okay, this is the lug of that I bought from Canadian Tire. I think it was about $20. This is not the bucket that came with it. It was a nice colored gray bucket, looked a little bit more sleek and clean this, than this. I traded that bucket with my neighbor for a shorter bucket. This I think is like a five gallon bucket for ready filler or something like that. But the lug -a part is this. And that obviously fits on any bucket with that size of a lip. So the first step is put a small container of kitty litter in there. That helps stabilize the bucket and you use that to keep the odors down once you have started using your lug -a Next, you place the lug -a in the hole. Next, I bought a little garbage can and I placed that on the other side of the lug -a This also helps stabilize it and I put my toilet paper and other toiletries in there. And I finish up just by covering it all with a blanket just so it looks nicer. This is my foldable yoga mat. It folds four ways. It's about two inches thick. It's really solid so it helps to, um, it doesn't just help, it does remove all feeling of any of the um, the big metal things that poke out of the floor that are to hold the seats in place when they're being used. I couldn't remove those because I didn't want to remove the seats because I want my van to be usable also as a passenger van when I'm not using it for camping. I'll show further pictures of it when it's unfolded and I'll show you what I do with it. And this is the unfolded version. This is two inch memory foam that's for a double bed. I folded it in half widthwise so that I have a double um, thickness and I'll be putting a sheet over top of that. I bought the memory foam at Wayfair. And here we are with the top uh, with the fitted sheet on it. It is a single fitted sheet, so it's a little bit big for that area. The dimensions of this are approximately 69 inches long, I think. But for sure, the yoga mat is 24 inches. The memory foam when it's folded is 26 inches, so there's a one inch overhang on each side and the area from the wall to where the hole for my toilet is, is 29 and a half inches. So ideally, when I can afford to spend more money, I will be getting a wider mattress, but for now, this is gonna have to work. And now the bed is made. So I haven't tried this yet, but this is gonna be an alternative setup for the little table that I have. It's a folding table, it's really lightweight and it has several adjustments in height. None of them are appropriate for me. I wanted to use it as an office in my when I'm in the van and I wanted to be able to use it as a table to put my knees under, also to use as an office or a dining table 
from the outside of my van, but both of those heights are inappropriate and not working for me. So I've sunk this into the floor. I haven't tried this actually on a camping trip, but this is something that I'm gonna see if it works once I go camping again. Forgot before I put the table in to show that I put my Jackery 500 battery right beside the toilet. I use the Jackery for powering several things in my van, including my heating pad at night and my phone and my computer. It works great and I absolutely love it. But the other thing that it's really great for is uh, I put one hand on that and one hand on the back of the van to transfer onto the toilet. It gives me a little bit of lift so that I'm not dragging my butt across everything. I'm actually getting some lift and landing right on the toilet. I think this little bank of shelves was about $25 at Walmart. I left the front two rollers on, as you can see on the bottom there, and I took the back two off so that, well, to account for the difference in the floor height right there in the caravan. So I use this for all of my um, books and Bible study stuff. Um, what else do I put in there? All my snacks went in there. Stuff that I wanted to be easily accessible from my bed. All right, this bank of shelves is mostly for my kitchen, for some electronic stuff, but I haven't set it in where I want it yet because the seat is too far back. So what I have to do to install this is move the seat ahead as far as it'll go, as well as the back. Just turn this around. Back it right up to the seat. And then I bungee cord it in. And that's what it looks like once it's installed. I try to move it as close to the passenger side window as possible but there's still space there, which is fine because I put my cook stove just tucked in the area. You can't really see it, but the area that goes there. And the next to final touch is having a space for the cooler. That fits very spaciously in there, but I actually usually have more than that. My food, I usually put into my dry food. Well, part of it goes in there, part of it goes in there with all my dishes. Um, I usually have one of those folding um, grocery bins full of stuff that goes in there and that holds it all secure except for like I said the tall shelves which I hook in with bungee cords. This is the same table that I had sitting over the toilet. This is just an alternative place for it although not a very practical one because it keeps the drawers from opening up. I think the ideal spot is going to be back over the toilet because I only use that toilet once in a while. Um, I can just move the table when I need to use it. Okay, so everything is not in my van yet um, because I'm not going camping. This was just a setup to let everybody know what it looks like. And a view from the rear. You might notice there's a space behind the Jackery and before the first bank of shelves. I actually have a little collapsible bin that I put all my clothing in that sits there because I don't actually need to access that stuff from outside the van usually. So here's another really really great idea that I got from somebody on YouTube and I apologize to the person I got it from because I can't find it again. I don't remember who it was from. Anyways, I use these as screens and some of you may realize what they are. They're actually gutter guards that go on a house. They're things that you place over the gutters to keep the leaves out of your rain gutters. Uh, they have a little U-shaped trough all across one side of them and a pointy side on the other side. 
So this side, all pointy. This side has a trough that the window fits really nicely in. So what I do is I roll down my middle window a little bit. I place this over the window and then I roll the window up until the pointy end slides up into the slot where the window goes and I'll show you a picture when it's complete. So the last thing I want to show you are my WeatherTech window covers. I spent about $250 and ordered these in the mail. All I had to do was plug in my van information, model year, make, all that stuff and they delivered them for $250. They just squish into the window. You just push and they're in. And you can put them the reflectic side out or the black side out, except for the back window, which isn't reversible because the back window is not sort of a uniform shape. And there's a tab on them to pull them out. All right, that's it for my uh, first episode of Wheels on Wheels. Hope you can join me again when I post another one in a week's time. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.